you may be seated, you may relax because um, I will be, I am instructed, I am asked to deliver a 45 minute homily because this is a combination of recollection and the Holy Mass. Uh, hindi ko lang po alam kung hanggang saan aabot ang aking boses. And uh, I would like to thank Bianca, Tita Bianca, for assisting me and for the invitation of Tita Beth Montesilio. Siya po ang may kasalanan, kaya po ako naririto. Kaya ko kayo po ay aantukin, siya po ang sisihin ninyo, si Tita Beth. Siya po ang nag sa akin dito. And I see some familiar faces, si Tita Lodet is here. Uh, one of the very good friend of our uh, Ate Joey and also uh, some parishioners from Christ the King dahil ako po ay nagiging guest priest din po sa Christ the King. And um, uh, right now, I'm here in the Diocese of Bacolod. I am now uh, taking charge of our uh, 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 construction in Murcia. We are having, we are building a shrine to the blessed Bianca, can you make me the host? Okay na po ba ako? So that I can uh, project some of my... Uh, my yes, Father. Yes, Father. Here, host already. Okay, we'll try. I'll share screen. Okay na po? Try mga screen. Yeah. It's from your computer, Father. Okay, na po. Nasa computer ko po. Wal wala pa po. Wala pa. Can you make me the host? You are. You are host, Father. Your Sandali lang po at we are figuring out. Ayan. Okay, ayan. Ayan ang angels. Ayan. Nasa pangalawa. Ayan. Okay, can you see? Nakikita yes, Father. Yes, Father. Okay. Oh, very good. Okay. Um... Today, we are um, celebrating the Feast of the Holy Guardian Angels. And dalawa po yung tinipare kong topic. I hope you will bear with me. Uh, the, the first one is the, the nine types of angels. Na? Ito po yung uh, uh, mga angels set to us by our Lord. And over time, you will see in the scriptures, uh, even in the book of Exodus, uh, even Yahweh is telling that I will send an angel before you to the Israelites. And even in the, in the Ark of the Covenant, uh, Yahweh instructed that there will be two angels and their wings should cover the Ark of the Covenant. The angels have been our companions. They are also messengers like Archangel Gabriel. They are also healers, watchers, and uh, and uh, they were they assist God whenever their God has plans for us. Now you might be wondering, Father, sa dami dami po ng mga ng mga angel. No, ano ba talaga ang mga angels? Angels are spirits. Hindi po sila um, inakikita po niyo na para may lalaki, may babae. Hindi po sila because wala po silang gender. They are all spirits, and they are they have functions. To begin with, I would like to read to you the Office of Readings. No? Sa, sa October 2, we have the breviary, uh, the duty of the Belgian angels from a sermon by St. Bernard Abbott. He has given his angels charge over you to guard you in all your ways. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy. His wonderful works are for the children of men. Let them give thanks and say among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. O Lord, what is man that you have made yourself known to him, 
or why do you incline your heart to him? And you do incline your heart to him, you show him your care and your concern finally, and you send your only son and the grace of your spirit and promise him a vision of your countenance. And so that nothing in heaven should be wanting in your concern for us, you send those blessed spirit to serve us, assigning them as our guardians and our teachers. He has given his angels charge over you to guard you in all your ways. These words, according to St. Bernard, should fill you with respect, presence of angels, devotion because of their loving service and confidence because of their protection. And so the angels are here. They are at your side. They are with you, present on your behalf. They are here to protect you and to serve you. But even if it is God who has given them this charge, we must nonetheless be grateful to our angels for the great love with which they obey and come to help us in our great need. So let us be devoted and grateful to such great protectors. Let us return their love and honor them. To honor them. Kaya dapat po nagdadasal tayo at nagpapasalamat din po tayo sa mga angels natin. As much as we can and should, yet all our love and honor must go to Him. For it is from Him that they receive all that makes them worthy of our love and respect. We should then, my brothers and sisters, show our affection to our angels. For one day, they will be our co-heirs, just as here below they are our guardians and trustees, appointed and set over us by the Father. We are God's children, although it does not seem so because we are still but small children under guardians and trustees. And for the present little better than slaves, even though we are children and have a long and a very long and dangerous way to go with such protectors that what have we to fear? They who keep us in all our ways cannot be overpowered or led astray, much less lead us astray. They are loyal, prudent, powerful. Why then are we afraid? We have only to follow them, stay close to them, and we shall dwell under the protection of God's heaven. What a beautiful homily and um, words of St. Bernard. We should thank and have devotion to our angels. I would like to share to you right now the nine types of angels. Marami pong types sa mga angels. Matutuwa po kayo. Uh, nung narinig ko po ito na binigay sa amin, I was so amazed that uh, there are many angels sent to guide and protect all of us. And their story speaks about the, the mind of God. Titignan po natin. Um, there are many versions of the types of angels, but uh, according to some, in Summa Theologica by St. Thomas Aquinas, there are spheres. But to simpl simplify them, I will just discuss the nine types of angels. The first kind of angel will be this. The, can you please read? Seraphim. Sino po yung mga seraphim? These are the heavenly angels who are nearest to God. Pinakamalapit. They encompass his royal position, and emanate an extreme red-hot light speaking to his adoration. Seraphim are viewed, viewed as blazing serpents, and not even the other awesome creatures may take a gander at them. Sobra pong liwanag po nila. At napakdal sa sobrang liwanag po nila, they, they, they mirror the light of God in them. Because they are closest to God. They, there are just four of them, and every, have, every one of them have four countenances and six wings. And when they come to earth, 
they abandon their serpent appearance, inclining toward tall, thin, clean-cut human exemplifications. Sila po ang pinakamataas sa lahat ng mga anghel. And you know kung sino po isang isa sa mga pinakamataas na gumawa po ng history sa langit, Lucifer. Siya po ay seraphim. Pinakamagana. Kaya nga po yung Lucifer is Luzbel, light bearer. Si Lucifer po ay uh, sa sobrang ganda po niya, he, uh, siya po ay nagliliwanag. He becomes the light bearer. Malapit na malapit po siya sa ating Panginoon. Now we go to the second one. The second kind of angel is this. The cherubim. Cherubim. Uh, plural po siya ng cherub. Pag isa lang po, cherub. Pag plural, cherubim. Sino naman po ito, Father? Sino naman yung cherubim from, from, uh, from seraphim? Now we go down. A little lower, pero mataas pa rin po. Mataas pa rin ang rango nito. The cherubim. These blessed messengers are the managers of divine records and hold the learning of God. They are sent to earth with incredible assignments. For example, so sila po raw ay mga, para silang IATF. No, yan. Meron silang special task. Their example, their, 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 uh, their, one of the great purpose that was given to them was they are tasked to remove mankind, Adam and Eve, from the Garden of Eden. It's in the book of Genesis. If you will check the book of Genesis, the Lord uh, put cherubs, cherubim, to guard the paradise. Antiquated craftsmanship delineates cherubim as sphinx-like, winged animals with human countenances. Nakita niyo po yung kanilang picture. Hindi po sila yung mga fat children with wings. Akala po natin yung mga cherubim, yung sinasabi natin, nako, pag may, uh, pag may namatay na baby, ay cherubim na siya sa langit. Hindi po siya ang cherubim. Iba po ang itsura ng, ng cherubim. And uh, they are different from the cherubim that we know. So sila po ang mga uh, IATF. No, yan. O kaya naman po, uh, sa, uh, sa Mother Butler Mission Guild, for example, meron po kayong special task. Halimbawa po, uh, Pagdating ni, ni Pope Francis, o oh, gawa tayo ng isang committee for that. Yan, sila po yun. O kaya naman ay eh, International Eucharistic Congress o oh, uh, Mother Butler ng Cebu ang mag in charge dyan. Create a committee. So, ito po ang trabaho ng mga, mga cherubim. Okay? So, can you follow? Can you, can you please say thumbs up kung okay pa po? Yan, okay. Are you following? Okay, very good. Now, the third. Mataas pa rin po ito, brothers and sisters. Mataas pa rin po siya from, uh, from seraphim, cherubim. The third will be thrones. Father, ano naman yung thrones? Thrones appearance is the most unusual. Nakita po ninyo, iba-iba talaga siya. Pero angels po yan, no? They are the most unusual of the, the angels. They are said to look like extraordinary sparkling wheels. They look like wheels, secured with numerous eyes. They fill in as God's chariot and administer His judgment, keeping in mind the end goal to complete His wants for us. The holy messengers in the second choir can exist in a condition of change between the divine and human universe. They are viewed as brilliant governors endeavoring a strike a harmony amongst issue and soul great and awful sila po ay mga uh, mga para silang gulong chariots uh, and then they have numerous eyes they are very brilliant governors no and then they also go down bumababa rin po sila sa lupa and they govern the universe they they govern the harmony of the soul so that is the throne, okay? Pag may question po kayo, you can uh, chat, no? may tanong po kayo. Kung alam ko po, I will answer that. 
pag hindi ko po alam, sabihin ko po sa inyo na I will get back to you. Dahil uh, ito pong angels pong, ito need so much study. Okay? So now, we will go down to the number four. The fourth uh, angel, they are called the dominions or dominations. Who are these, the dominions and dominations? Consider dominions as a middle angel. They get orders from seraphim and cherubim. Nakamedyo mababa siya, pero mataas-taas pa rin ito. No? At sila po ay nasa order po ng seraphim, the most beautiful angel, and cherubim. At that point, dole out obligations to the working bee. Sila po pala yung mga workers. Blessed messengers of the lower orders. Their principal reason for existing is to ensure that the universe stays all together by sending down energy. Wow, may ganang pa palang angels, no? They send energy to heads of government and other specialist figures. Parang similar po ang or ang uh, sa kanila. Similar po sila ng wheels, ng uh, thrones, no? So, uh, sig uh, siguro yung thrones, they work on uh, the harmony sa soul, sa universe. Ito naman po sila, they, they send energies to heads of government and other specialist figures. So, yung mga nagiging leader po natin, ang barangay, na presidente po natin, ay nagsesend po ng energy yung mga angels kung sino ang karapat dapat yung mga figures, leader figures. Kaya lang po, ang tanong, eh kung nakikinig po tayo sa angels natin na dominions or dominations. Kaya maganda po na nagdadasal po tayo kay angel dominion or dominations for the next election. And even siguro among, among yourselves, whenever there is an election, uh, we should pray to the angel dominions or dominations. Okay? May question po? Pag may question kayo, just raise your hand and then uh, uh, tingnan nyo po, uh, you can chat dun sa ating, uh, uh, meron po dyan mga, mga, mga sa screen ninyo, pwede kayo mag-chat po. No? And then the number five, lower than the dominions or domination are, is this, the angel virtues. The angel virtues. Who are these angels? Formed like flashes of light, para daw po silang ilaw. These angels are accountable for keeping up the standard world, and they move living things, living things in districts. For example, science. They besides take orders from the immense escorts above, and change over them into panders for the advocating. They let us know their presence by their ordinary packaging. They are pros specialists, healers, and investigators who work with the imperativeness of warmth and moreover material science. The two famous authorities at the move of Jesus are recognized to have been convictions. So these angels are responsible for mga sciences, for the inventions, for healers, at investigador. Dako. Pag pala kayo nagdududa sa inyong bossing, no? sa manager ninyo, o kaya nagdududa kayo sa, uh, sa asawa ninyo, o yan, so, pwede kayo magtanong, Angel Virtue, ipakita mo naman sa akin, no? Angel Virtue, sundan mo nga yung asawa ko kung saan nagpupupunta. Yan, o di ba? And the Angel Virtue will guide, will, will, will check, no? Si Angel, yan, ang, yan po ang specialty ni Angel Virtue and Science. No? Uh, yung mga invention, uh, specialist, specialization po nila. So, tsaka escort, no? talagang nag -e escort sila. No? Uh, sinasamahan nila yung tayo. No? So, that is the Angel Virtue. At tsaka ang Virtue po, ay, I think they can intervene. Yung uh, Angel Virtues, they perform miracles. For example, accidents. They, they can intervene. They're allowed to intervene. Ito mga angel virtues. Next, number uh, six will be the angel power. Yan. Tingnan niyo po yung itsura ng power. Okay? In their heavenly shape, power seem like splendidly shaded, 
murky, exhaust. Horses are prince, watch specialists among paradise and earth. They are the blessed messengers of birth and passing. Sa magpagsilang, born, when you are born, and for those who die. Some trust that they additionally direct devils who wish to topple the world, while others, to be specific, St. Paul through the, thought the forces themselves were the insidious ones. Regardless, powers are a gathering of specialists who fill in as consultants as far as religion, philosophy, and belief system. Wow! These angels are responsible in sending energies for religion, philosophy, and belief system. Napaka-importante po ng philosophy, alam niyo po yan, ng belief system. Like the mother butler, you have your core values, you have your philosophy, your belief system. The angel power is there to guide us. Ano ba ang identity natin? Ngayon na sa pandemic tayo, what will, what will make Mother Butler Mission Guild relevant? The angel power is the angel to, to talk to, to, to pray to. Angel power. Next, number seven. The seventh angel will be this. Principalities. Yan. Hindi po yan principal ng mga senior high school. Iba po yan. No? The principalities, ito po yung mga... Uh, These other worldly creatures are molded like beams of light. Much the same as a chief in school, the principalities regulate everything. They manage our world. Countries, mga bansa, sila pala yung nag nag-govern o nagbabantay sa mga bansa. Urban areas, towns, even church organization, even congregation, groups of people. In, a, in addition, they are accountable for, again, religion and governmental issues. As though their plate isn't sufficiently full, they are additionally responsible for dealing with the natural obligations of the heavenly attendants underneath them. Well, the principalities are in charge of nations, of countries, of uh, uh, different or, uh, urban uh, communities, barangays. So, dami po pa lang nagbabantay sa atin. And even church organization, they, 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 they are responsible for them. And then, meron pa silang isang uh, duty. Uh, they are responsible for dealing with the natural obligations of the heavenly attendants underneath them. Hindi ko po masyado naintindihan to, pero parang ang tingin ko po, uh, they, should, they are responsible that the, the earth brings back the worship to heaven. And they are responsible for that. Ang dami rin yung trabaho. Okay, ito medyo pababa na po tayo, mabababa na po tayo. Number eight. Number eight will be this, the archangels. Doon pa lang po darating si Saint Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. Medyo lower rank na pala ang archangel natin. No? They, alongside the holy messengers, are gatekeepers of individuals and everything physical. Be that as it may, you don't approach them to help you everything. They are chief heavenly messengers, react best when managing matters including all mankind. They, are, they have specialty. They are the primary request of the holy messengers and uh, all things considered and they work among us as pioneers for change, as adventurous scholars and human rights pioneers. And meron po silang mga duties. Like um, uh, si Michael, siya po ay warrior. Gabriel, the messenger. Raphael, the healer. And there are many archangels. But among them, uh, I'm very confident these three archangels are uh, uh, Michael, the protector. Uh, Raphael, the healer. And then Gabriel, the messenger. Si Uriel po, naririnig ko, pero uh, I'm not very sure. No? But I, I'm sure if I can, um, I can research on that, I can share that to you. But 
I'm confident si Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Malaki rin po ang duty nila sa ano, sa annunciation. And then uh, in the book of, uh, sa buhay po ni Tobit, si si Archangel Raphael naman po ang healer. And uh, si Michael naman po uh, responsible po siya sa isang battle sa langit po. Mamaya ko po i-discuss yan sa inyo. Okay? And then uh, number nine, the lowest of all will be the angels. Sino po tong angels na ito? Heavenly angels are the genuine between God and distinctive individuals. The heavenly angels don't watch over countries. They defend families and people who have confidence in God and protect them from evil presence. They sustain, guide, and mend. We as a whole have an individual heavenly angels. Lahat po tayo. May individual heavenly angels. We call them the holy guardian angel. What a beautiful way, tremendous love of God to each one of us to send us holy guardian angels who are with us every moment of our lives. Kaya kung titingnan niyo yung katabi ninyo, baka nandiyan po yung angel ninyo. Kaya maganda po na tinatawag po natin sila every now and then. And uh, these are the the angels of these holy angels offer us various things, support, heading, guide, affirmation of God's will. Pag nagdi-discern pala tayo, no? Ito ba ang gagawin ko, Lord? A-attend ba ako nito? Sasama ba ako nito? Bibilhin ko ba ito? Yan. Kung ba, nagsya-shopping kayo. Lord, bibilhin ko ba itong bag na ito? Nako eh. Nako ba, maka marami pang mahirap ang matutulungan dito. Eh, minsan lang naman. Nako, guardian angel, i-enlighten mo nga ako kung will ni Lord ito. No? So, ito. You can talk to your guardian angel. Affirmation of God's will. O kaya naman, may isang position na ino-offer sa'yo. Tatanggapin ko ba ito, Lord? No, ako yung magiging head ng aming village o magiging head. Is it, it is an opportunity? Uh, eh, gusto nila akong maging counselor, gusto nila akong maging mayor. So, you know, these are the things. Uh, discernment. Understanding. At may na hindi naintindihan, hindi mo maintindihan yung asawa mo, anak mo, yung pandemic. You can ask for your guardian. Ang dami nilang, ang dami nilang duties. Quality, assurance, friendship. In addition to many other things, the primary part of heavenly attendance isn't to attract regard for themselves, yet to point us toward Christ. The, the beauty of the holy guardian angels is they don't point to themselves. They always lead us to Christ, like the blessed mother. The blessed mother doesn't point to herself. She always say, go to, uh, to my son. Do whatever he tells you, and um, because of the uh, because of that, Jesus would always tell, "Behold, my mother." So we it is a circular spirituality. When uh, when God uh, calls you, you uh, Jesus tells you to behold His mother. But when you go to the Blessed Mother, Mary will tell you, "Do whatever Jesus tells you." So, thank you for the guardian angel, angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day, be at my side, to rule and guide, to light and guide. Amen. Okay, so we'll now go to the um, second part of my, ano, okay pa po kayo, gising pa po kayo. Uh, pakitamsap nga po uh, sisters and brother brother may brothers po ba tayo o puro sisters lang po puro sisters okay oh, sige now the second part of my talk will be uh, nakita ko po rito sa misalet po ng St. Paul ay uh, yeah yan na yan, 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 yan nakita ko po rito sa misalet ng St. Paul ay 
uh, the memorial of the guardian angels for giving from the heart. Andito po, no? Uh, if you have uh, if you have the the misalet, ang uh, reflection po nila is for giving from the heart. That's why kagabi habang ako pinapiprepare, sabi ko, why not also give uh, a short talk on forgiveness? Pagpapatawat. Uh, after the angels, uh, siguro, uh, we jump to the reflection of Father Ronel de los Reyes, forgiveness. Because the gospel speaks about unless you become like little child, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. And we all know that one of the traits of one child is the child is very forgiving. One time ako po yung nagpunta sa bahay ng kinasal ko. No? Um, many years ago, kinasal ko. Tapos nagkaanak na po sila, dalawang lalaki. Na bumisita ako sa bahay nila, nangangamusta ako. Uh, sabi ko, ano, kamusta kayo? Ay, Father, very good. Buti dumalaw ka. Yan. So, nakita kayong dalawang bata. Oh, bless, bless kay Father. Uh, di nag-uusap kami ng kopol. Habang nag-uusap po kami ng kopol, nako, maya-maya lamang po, sisters. Nag-World War III. Yung dalawang bata, nag-away. Nako po, talagang yung pag-aaway po na parang hindi lang po away ng mga mali, ni, na away lang na ordinaryo talagang nagsuntukan mukha mababalian yung isa yung isa naman po tumalon pa si pinlaying kick yung isa eh sabi ko oy ang anak ninyo nag-aaway sabi ng mga magulang nako father normal na huyan useful na yan no pinaghiwalay nila nagiiyak yung isa uh, yung pala parang nagkagulo lang sa laruan and then sabi ko grabe naman tong na witness ko rito eh, father normal lang lang useful lang yan nakukwentuhan uli kami maya maya dumating yung after mga 10 minutes dumating yung dalawa tako magkakbay na Sabi niya, oh, ito na yung toy mo. Oh, ganyan na, ano, pinahihinihiram ko lang naman. Sabi niya, thank you, kuya. Naku, magkabati na yung dalawa. Sabi ko, eh, nagluloko ba ako ng dalawang batang ito? Kanina, eh, naghahampasan, nagpa-flying kick. Mga 10 minutes lang po, magkabati na po yung dalawa. One of the greatest attribute, I hope we can have that attitude, is very forgiving. mapagpatawad po sila. Now, I will share to you my reflections. I am giving this to my recollections uh, about the forgiveness. What is forgiveness? Well, forgiveness is a decision to let go of resentment and thoughts of revenge. Unang-una po, ang pagpapatawad po ay decision. To let go. Mahirap po yun, no? Kaya, ano po eh, we really need an angel to help us, no? It's a decision to let go of resentment, yung sama ng loob. Parami tayong sama ng loob. Alam ko, brother, sisters, hindi lang kayo. Priests are not spared. Bishops are not spared. Even nuns are not spared of resentments and thoughts of revenge. Yung mga, sige, gawin mo sa akin yan, humanda ka. No? Bullet day, I will giant you. Ayan ang mga salita natin, di ba sisters? Balang araw, maghihiganti rin ako. Revenge, thoughts of revenge. It is also, it is a decision, but it is also a feeling. Dalawa po yan. Double sword po ang forgiveness. It is a decision, a dictate of the mind, but it is also a feeling. Leads to feeling of understanding, empathy, and compassion to the one who has offended you. Sandali po, ho, medyo hindi ko makita yung, yan, okay. To the one who has hurt you. Yeah, forgiveness is a feeling of understanding, empathy, and compassion for the one who hurt you. Madali sabihin po yan, pero mahirap po. Okay? 
Now, what are the benefits of forgiveness? Ayan, ito po yun, mga benefits of forgiveness. Number one, naka lower blood pressure. Alam niyo naman, pag ikay at peace, nakapagpatawad ka, mababa po ang blood pressure. Stress reduction. Bawa stress po yun. Pag meron yung mga marunong magpatawad, less hostility, better anger management skills. Nako, alam niyo po mga brothers and sisters, yung anger management skills, napaka, napaka hirap pong i-control yan. Yung anger management. And beware, yung mga hindi po nagpapatawad, may, may tendency po tayong mag-outburst. Um, mag, uh, Mahirap po na nakokontrol natin. One time, ako po, kami pong Marian Missionaries ay pumupunta po sa Muntinlupa every Saturday. Nung nasa Manila po ako, as in ako sa Marikina, uh, I go to Muntinlupa. Meron po kami assignment. Oh, Father Blaze, ikaw next week sa, preso, sa prisons. So we go to the prisons. One time, pumunta po ako sa prisons. Nagmas po ako. Habang nagmimisa po ako, nako, yung mga preso. Habang nagmimisa, eh, pinakikita ko si Kristo, may dumadaan po sa likod ng mga mestisa, mga mapuputi, na didistract yung mga parokyano ko. Sabi ko, ano bang pinagtitinginan ninyo sa likuran ko? Yung pala sa Father, may dalaw, may dalaw. Nako, ay ano naman ka may dalaw? Father, magaganda yung mga dalaw. Nako, sabi ko, anong magaganda mga dalaw? Tinignan ko nga, aba, magaganda nga po yung dalaw. Sabi ko, sino kaya ang bagong pasok dito sa presong ito? Eh, tinuntahan ko po. Sabi ko, brother, father, maganda. Uh, bago po kayo, kapapasok niyo. Opo, last uh, two weeks ago lang po ako, father, na nakapasok dito. Eh, yung mga anak niya, assumptionista, no? Taga Ateneo. Sabi ko, pa? Sabi ko, eh, tapos habang kinakausap ko, sa binikinokonsol ko, pinagdadasal ko, Then siya, siya nag-share sa akin. Sabi niya, Father, ang kaso ko po, ako po yung uh, nag-agawa ng parking lot sa Loyola, Marikina. Naalala niyo po yun. No? Eh, sabi ko, ay opo, naalala ko po yun. Yung nag-agawa ng, nag ng FX. Tapos po nun ay uminit po ang ulo ko. Father, agagawan lang kami sa parking lot. Eh, meron po akong... Um, meron po akong uh, baril sa glove compartment ko. Nakuha ko po yung baril. Eh, sa sobrang galit ko po, tinapat ko po rin sa driver. Binaril ko. Bang! Dak ko! Ayan. Pangpagising lang ho yun, sisters. No? Baka nakakatulog po kayo. No? Binaril daw niya. Pag baril niya, hindi niya natamaan yung driver. Natamaan po yung misis na buntis. Namatay po yung misis, yung buntis, nabuhay po yung baby. Sabi ko, brother, bakit? Sabi niya, father, outburst of anger. Sabi ko, brother, taga saan ba kayo? Pad, uh, sa atin lang po, ho. sabi niya, father, taga sacred heart parish po ako. Ako po ay lay minister. Nalungkot naman ako. Ako po yung Ateneo graduate, broker po ako. Eh, may problema po ako sa anger management. Kaya, careful. Sisters, yung mga anger natin, lalo po yung mga manifestations ng anger natin, yung mga nagtatapon ng kutsilyo, yan, ako, medyo dyan nagsisimula yan, nagtatapon ng plato. Uh, I'm sure naman marami na sa atin nakaget over. But just a reminder, these are manifestations, mga nagtatapon ng, ng refrigerator, yan, no? yung mga sobrang galit, mga nagagalit po sa atin. So there, these are, uh, when, we are when we have unforgiveness, It really happens. And then others, ang ano po nila is uh, uh, lower risk of alcohol. No? Yung iba po ay sa alcohol naman po sila. No? Sandali po, medyo hindi ko po makita yung cursor. Yan, okay. Yan, okay. 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 
what are the um, uh, what are the other benefits is fewer fewer depression systems reduction in chronic pain yung mga sakit sakit daw po no sometimes it is also rooted in unforgiveness uh, and then pag uh, pag may forgiveness po pala you you reduce your chronic pain and then you have more friends yung mga mapilita bagay pinatatawad ko na yan ako more more friendship sila yan no healthier relationship mas healthy sila ang sarap nilang ka kausap yung mga mapagpatawad po na tao ay nako pagka yung bang pagdating nila para bang kanina ka pa namin hihinihintay ikaw naman ang tagal mo naman dumating dito sa ating uh, dinner sa di ba mga mother butler maraming ganyan ano ang tagal mo naman kanina ka pa namin hinihintay sis bakit ang eh, siyempre kulang tayo no ang sasaya kasi ng grupo ninyo eh no kulang tayo pag wala ka so sila yung mga yung mga hindi sila ma mga metikuloso na malilit na bagay pinalalaki may mga ganun di ba yung mga buwisit sa buhay, no? yung mga malilit na bagay na pwede mo nang palampasin, palampasin mo na, malilit na bagay, hindi naman matter of life and death yan. They are very forgiving at ang saya-saya nilang kasama. Healthier relationship. They also have greater religious or spiritual well-being. Ang ano po sila, madali silang magdasal. Kapag nag-imbita ng First Friday Mass, ay madali silang imbitahan. Kasi, Magaan silang kasama. They know how to forgive. They have, they have, they have improved psychological well-being. Ang ganda ng psychology nila. They have peace, very peaceful, happiness, kindness. Yung mga taong marunong magpatawad. Now, kanawawala na naman ang cursor kaya. Okay. Why do we hold grudges and become resentful and unforgiving? Father, bakit nga ba tayo sumasama ang loob and nagiging resentful and unforgiving? Nakita niyo yung dalawa, oh, uh, magkatabi na sila. Well, nako hindi lumabas ang aking ano yan. Yan po ay um, um, rebellion, uh, mga, yung mga agreements na hindi na, hindi na, na natupad, abuses, hurting words uh, yun po yan po yan hindi lang po nabasa no yung mga lahat yun mga mga hurting words mga agreement na hindi natupad um, 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 emotional abuse verbal abuse all of this kaya po tayo nagiging resentful sa masama po ang loob natin and unforgiving but you know they may be the words the words can be small Careful kayo, brothers and sisters. They can be small, but they can be bigger, and they can be powerful. Para pong si, si Cookie Monster, no? Maliit lang po yan, pero it can be big, it can be powerful. Example, brothers sisters, sinabihan ka ng, na nag-meeting kayo, Mother Butler, sabihin, sabihin sa'yo, Hoy! Ang taba mo ngayon. Ay, nako, ano nang kasi na quarantine ako. Nako, akala mo okay okay 'yon, pero dadalahin minsan 'yon hanggang sa ang taba ko ba ngayon? Sobra naman siya. Isa nga mukha siyang siopaw. Akala naman niya ay eh, napakapayat niya, no? Maliit lang po 'yon. It can happen. Simple words, but it is it is powerful. O sinabi lang ng ng mister mo, o kaya sinabi ng ibang tao sa iyo na Uh, alam mo, ano, ano ka, uh, masyado ka namang, uh, uh, alimbawa ay masyado ka namang uh, metikuloso, napakalit na bagay, eh, palampasin mo na, napaka-self-righteous mo naman. Yan. Palit lang yon Pero alam nyo, sisters, it can come into our mind, it can come into our hearts. And kahit buong gabi, iisipin mo yon Tama mali. Kaya, it happens to me also. Guilty rin po ako dyan. Yung mga sinasabi nilang malilit na bagay, nasasabi sa pare, eh nasasaktan din kami. No? Pero hanggang naiisip din yon The problem is, you are not at peace. And we don't want that. What are the symptoms of unforgiving? Yan. Ano po ba ang sintomas, Father, ng hindi pa ako nakakapagpatawad? Yan. Huwag na natin ibahin. Tayo na lang. 
Ano pa ba ang symptoms ng hindi pa ako nakakapagpatawad? Repetitious events with grudge. Repetitious events with grudge. Paulit-ulit na lang. May taong ganyan, sisters. Paulit-ulit na lang. Ikukwento ay, nako yan, daughter-in-law kong yan. Sinabi ko na matagal na, ganito gawin. Hindi nakikinig sa akin. Wala naman tayong magagawa. May sarili silang utak. Eh, sige, ilet go na lang natin. Pero the sometimes, paulit-ulit natin. Ang hatred, unforgiveness sa parents, sa mother, sa father, sa husband, co-workers. Yung pagka paulit, pwede natin, I think you can vent. <coughs> you can ventilate mga uh, a month, a week, three months. Pero kung taon na po, palagay ko po, hindi pa tayo nakakapagpatawad. May iba pa nga po, patay na. Patay na ho. Totoo yan, sister. Patay na ho. Nailibing na. Magkukwento pa, alam mo, yung taong yan, namatay na yan, ganito ginawa niya sa akin. Nasaan na ba yan? Eh, patay na ho. Eh, patay na pala, sister. Ibaon mo na. Sa hukay, yung sama mo ng totoo ho yan. Repetitious events with grudge. At sila rin po, mahilig mag-self-pity. Yung bang, aliwa sa picture taking, alika dito tayo sa picture taking, o musud ka kasi dito, kasi ang taba-taba mo. Nako, ma maaawain sila. sa mo, maawa naman na ako. Ako na naman ang nakita nila. Yeah, ma maaawain sa sarili. Pag nautusan, ako na naman ang inutusan. Palibasa, wala man. Ako na naman, lagi na lang ako, lagi na lang ako. Ayan, mga... Yung mga malitanya, mas self-pity, signs of unforgiveness. Being avoided by family and friends. Katulad na sabi ko kanina, kapag uh, ikaw ay uh, madwadali magpatawad, uh, hinihintay ka. Okay? Pag hindi ka naman po, eh, hindi ka naman mapagpatawad, uh, malilita bagay, pinalalaki natin, you are being avoided by family and friends. Pagka... Pagka main party, alam niyo naman, alam siguro sa inyo rin, may mga birthday-birthday, imbitahan mo to, ito huwag mong imbitahan yan. Ha? Boy, sit yan. No? Kung nakalagay, hindi natin kasama yan. Kaya pagka hindi ka naiimbitahan, ibig sabihin nun, eh, that's a time. na Oo nga, bakit ako, ba't sila nag-party nag, uh, nag doon? Nag-party doon ako, parang hindi ako naiimbita. Ay, sira yung text eh. Walang signal doon sa bahay namin. Pasensya ka na, nag-birthday ako, ganyan, ganyan. At saka kung dumating ka man, nagpa-party kayo, kung dumating ka man, sila yung nagsasabi na, ay, andito na sa, ay, naku, ayo sige, mauna na ako. Naku, meron pa akong gagawin. Being avoided by family. Angry outburst. Yung kinuwento ko kayo sa inyo. Misunderstood. And, addiction smoking drug addiction these are not only for us even for our fellow for our spouses this is also a way of reflecting excessive drinking depression desire for revenge or punishment yung gusto pa rin makiganti eh pagdasal natin na mawala na po yon thinking worse about people or situation lack meaning or purpose in life yung mga hindi na po nagpapatawad Sila, walang meaning ang buhay nila. They don't see the beauty of having missionary activities, going out to the poor, going out to helping the COVID uh, victims, uh, raising funds for a, a certain project, o sa Mother Butler, makikijoin ka sa mga, mga panangangailangan. Hindi sila ma-volunteer because they don't see the meaning of generosity. They don't see the meaning of helping others because they are busy licking the wounds within their hearts. And normally, they lack meaning or purpose in life. O di ba, sino po yung matulungin? Yung masayahin. Sino po yung mga... Ako, sige to, kahit magkano, itulong ninyo. Ito, kahit magkano, mapabigay sila. They always... Uh, they are always very generous. Not only financially, but even with their time. Yung mga hindi pa nagpapatawad, madamot. Why? Because they don't find joy. They're not happy. They're not at peace. And then, lastly, they are always at odds with religious or spiritual beliefs. 
ano na naman yung activity ninyo, first Friday, mas naman nananahimik na tayo rito, nag-organize, organize pa kayo. Malreklamo. Marereklamo ang mga taong hindi nakakapagpatawad. Amen? Bato-bato sa langit, matamaan, wag magalit. Eh, baka mabukulan po tayo. Kasama na po si Father Don minsan. Okay? So, ako mahaba na po yata ang aking talk. So, I will end my talk there. Uh, okay lang po. No? I'll end my talk there. Basta, brothers and sisters, the bottom line is that you often feel miserable in your current life because of the unforgiveness. And uh, my advice is this, if we have that kind of unforgiveness, alam ko mahirap po, it's very difficult, like the little child. But you know, I always say number one is you pray to the Lord. Lord, it is very difficult to me to, for me to forgive. It may happen many years ago, but please help me. Help me to forgive. And kanina lang po, nagdasal po ako na, Lord, help me. I'm struggling with this thought. I ask you to give, tao lang po ako, nasasaktan ako. And the Lord understands. And you know, it works. When you pray to the Father, the Father grants you. You pray to your angel, and the angel will guide you. Amen.